Hi guys, it's Cindy with Pubs and Crochet. And I wanted to tell you that we have a visitor right now. Morris has decided to come in and he has made himself comfortable in Robert's chair. So both of them are sleeping peanuts in his bed and he's on the chair. <sighs> the way it goes. Okay, so I told you this submission, I am getting these squares done. And welcome to all our new subscribers. I hope you like our channel. This is not our normal thing. It's just horror movies. This is just something I'm doing for Neva at Manic Mom Amusing. It was to celebrate her potiversary, which was the day before Halloween. And we all both got behind. She was, I don't know what number she's up to. I have to catch up on all that. I was out for a little bit because of my teeth. Got them done better so now I have to catch up and I have to get all my watch I gotta get all my watch puppy videos done so I can see or watch everybody's video catch up give them some love on their channel always please remember to check the community tab like and subscribe give me the thummies I always forgot to say that and Robert tells me you didn't say it you didn't say it I'm like blah 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 Anyway, so I am on number 80 and we are on swap 29. So here's 29. <laughs> mm. It's the day of the dead. It's the Day of the Dead coffee, coffee cup. Let's see how hard it is to get into. Do I have to screw this off? Oh yeah. Oh, there's something inside. <laughs> Two sour ring pops. Oh yes, I will be definitely doing these. We got a sour raspberry and a sour green apple. And green apple is my favorite. I love green apple. Oh, and a red raspberry. Green apple. I thought there was some clinking around in that cup. Wasn't that a cute cup with a day of the dead? I don't know how more, how do you say it? More. Oh, I Something know. more, more toes. I, I don't know. I always screw that up. But look, he's got the little skeletons all around it playing the music. It's like in that movie, um, that little cartoon, uh, Coco. I love watching that. Coco. Thank you, Neva. And if you see me and my face is all pucked in, it's because of the sour ring bops. <laughs> I, I love them. All right, I am going to tell you about a movie that is just crazy. It is number 80. We did swap 29. So I have exactly, after this one, 20 squares to go, and I'm done. So here is my square. Here is my picture, and it's a pair of red lips. <laughs> going into my square bag. All right, now this movie is called The Getaway. And, you know, it's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. But it is, it really is fun to watch. And uh, it's these three girls. They're going to go on a girl's trip. The two girls are already at the cabin. The one girl is falling behind. She said she won't be there for an hour. She's in her car and she's driving and all of a sudden, car stops. She looks She's out of gas. So she's like, uh, what am I going to do? And she's the one with the red lips. And so all of a sudden these guys come up and a truck pulls in a, a radio pickup truck pulls up behind her. And he comes up, he goes, hey, little lady, what's going on? And she goes, I ran out of gas. You wouldn't happen to have some extra gas in the back of your pickup truck, would you? And he goes, well, I think we can manage that. And then she looks over like this, and in her other 
the window over there is her brother, his brother. And his brother's like, hi, you're awfully party. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so they give him the gas, give her the gas. She gets away from him. She gets to the cab and they're going out. They go to a bar in town. They're going to party there. So they go to the bar. And then all of a sudden, the two guys show up. And they spike her drink. Now, her two friends are out there dancing with each other. And because they were a couple. And she was at the bar having a drink. And they said, oh, the gentleman's over there bought it for you. Well, she didn't look till after she drank it. And then saw it was them. And then she's like, oh, no. She wakes up. She's in the back. There's a a thing over her, a cloth over her, and it's ripped. So she just opens it up and she gets up and she's in the back of the pickup truck and they put the the tarp over it. She gets out and they, the two boys are coming back and they said, Pa, you're going to really like this one. She's awfully party. She'll be perfect. So they get there and she's gone and he said, hurry up now. Go find her. She couldn't have got far. So they get her, they string her up and, you know, by her hands in the, in the barn and she's strung up like this. And she says, what are you guys doing? What is wrong with you? And they said, what's wrong with you? And she mumbles something like kind of like a, like a curse, she says to him. And the dad looks at him and they go, she's not an angel. She's a devil. Let's get back in the house and we'll take we'll, a witch. Yeah, the witch. She's the witch. She's not, I'm sorry, I said devil. No, she's a witch. You didn't bring me an angel. You brought me a witch. So he goes, never mind. Come on, supper's ready. So he takes him in the house. He goes, we'll deal with that tomorrow. Well, she looks down on the ground and she sees her phone and she hits her with her toe and she calls this guy that really likes her and he's a cop. And she says, I, the three guys took me and they got me. Click. Phone goes off. Her phone's dead. So the guy didn't get the message till he got home. He's sitting down for dinner. He plays his messages. Here's that. Boom. He's gone. He knows where she went because, you know, he saw the cabin. So he heads that way. Now the two girls are in the bar. They're looking around. They're like, where is she? Where is she? So they're hunting for her. Well, they go out to the barn to, to make sure she's still tied up and she had like drawn a pentagram with her foot that she could just get the toe of her boot down. So she made a pentagram on their thing and really freaked them out. And they're just like, get back in the house, get away from that witch, get away from her. And they're kicking the dirt, making it go away. And the younger brother, and he's still just as creepy as the older one, but the oldest one is really creepy. The younger one comes out there and he goes, I just want to come out and talk to you for a minute. And she said, why don't you let me go? Just let me go. And he goes, oh, I can't do that. Paul be mad. Can't do that. Because you know why? We catch you, you know, you girls, little that are bad, but we know that you're angels. So we plant our seeds and then send you to heaven and you have little angel babies that come back down here. And she goes, oh, so we have angel babies in heaven and they come back down here. He's like, yeah, that's what Paul said. Now, <laughs> it made me laugh because he's a cross between the water boy and Forrest Gump. And that made me laugh so hard. Just watching that younger brother because that is a combination that you don't see too often. <laughs> so if you get a chance, it is called Getaway. Watch it. And I mean, it's supposed to be a scary movie. Supposed to be all these little things going on in it. But if you listen to this kid, that's all you're going to listen to. You're going to hear Waterboy and Forrest Gump mixed together. <laughs> And it was it, it was a really good movie, you know, for a lot of laughs. And it's supposed to be a horror movie, but 
you know, not too much horror going on there. <laughs> okay, so hugs and puppy kisses, purrs if you need them. And please remember, adopt, don't shop. There are just way too many babies that need a home. Okay, I will be back and I will have another movie for you because I want to get these done. So I can get my blanket together so I can show you what it looks like. Even though Robert says it's going to look crazy, but... But not in a bad way. No, not in a bad way. Oh, and I did forget to tell you, though. Um, when I told you about the... When I showed you the yarn that I got, the lace yarn, it was from... Um, it was from uh, where I won at... Uh... Oh, my goodness. And now I forgot... Chicken Ranch. Uh, I wrote it down and now I forgot what it was. Let me make sure. See if I got it in here because I know I wrote it down. Because I was her semi finalist and then she sent me those. And I think it's a. Uh, Oh, the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch. That's what it is. So go and check out her channel. I will link them in there along with Neva so that you can check them out. Also, um, I've been putting some stuff up in the community tab. Make sure you check that out. And I have asked, I got to catch up on all my comments, but I have asked if I have not visited your channel and you need some watch hours or you need anything, put it in the bottom of this, you know, in the, the comments so that I can go ahead, take a look, get over there, give you some watch hours and get my watch puppies going again because I did fall behind, I did. So I will let you go. I will be back with the next movie. Okay, bye guys.